Hi, this is Tim of the 1916 Company. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me. I am still T Masso at thewatchbox.com. It is still in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any of our platforms. Please reach out to me directly. I am T Masso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we are discussing a 2021 limited edition of 500 pieces in steel. This is the Blancpain 50 Fathoms Bathyscaphe Day Date Desert Edition. It is a 500 piece edition dedicated to commemorating Ernest H. Brooks II's 1962 Death Valley Dive. Maybe not what you associate with diving watches being inland and fresh water, but it was a milestone, and this watch commemorates the occasion. It is also objectively very cool, retro-styled but modern-sized, 43 millimeters in diameter, 14.3 millimeters thick from lug tip to lug tip, 49.6 millimeters with a 23 millimeter spacing between the lugs. On my wrist, which is 16 centimeters circumference, it wears a bit more compact than the 5015. This watch, which is uh, technically the 5052, is easy to wear, relatively narrow across the wrist at under 50 millimeters. And at 14.3, it's thicker than a standard bathyscaphe, but it's still thinner than a 5015. I could recommend this watch for a wrist of my size or larger, so 16 centimeters circumference and up. The strap is high grade and tough stuff. You can see, just as we have a desert sand gradient metallic fade on the dial, we have a desert sand colored sailcloth strap. So rubber on the bottom for souplesse against the skin. It also isolates the sailcloth textile from the moisture, sweat, oil, and grit of the wrist. It is a very, very tough material, and these straps can sometimes last up to a decade. There is a lightly contrasting stitch. You can see this is a brand new Blancpain factory strap. No crimping, no gouging. Matched by a satin finished stainless steel pin buckle, and you can see they even faceted the edges of the pin. Attention to detail is strong with this one. Acier inox, meaning stainless steel en français. We have a relatively vintage-inspired case. This is a little bit more a sheer in profile, minimally beveled, and then squared off on the ends than the 5015. That's always been the aesthetic of the modern bathyscaphe since it arrived in 2013. You can also see we have a big crown no guard style profile. We have some micro knurling outboard. Everything here is satinated or media blast. You can see there's media blast in the recesses of the knurling. So it's got a very muted anti-glare look to it. Again, compounding the retro vibe. Now the bezel is a little bit more modern because we have what's called a liquid metal bezel insert. So we have ceramic and then the metal elements, the indices and the numerals, those are actually co molded with the ceramic becoming one material. It is a very hard and scratch resistant material and as you can see we'll do a quick loom shot now. The watch is quite well loomed. The bezel has a wonderfully positive click and it feels good, it sounds good, it's sharp and premium, it's 120 click action, note all three hands are luminescent, important on a diver since you know that if you jump in the water at night or in the dark, your dive watch is in fact running. That's important for something that will be a backup dive timer, and that's likely how you'll use a mechanical watch in this day and age, a backup dive timer. Now you can see we have these modified syringe baton hands at center. We have a little counterweighted lancet seconds hand with a lollipop. Then we have uh, double indices. So we've got these Arabic numerals outboard on a little satin finished metallic grill. And then inboard from that, we have these rhodium coated polished applique indices that bear the luminescent material. Now you can see we have black, we have sand, we have a gray we have a little bit of key lime luminova in there, and then we have some red shocks on the numerals themselves. There is a little day date display, note the white on black printing for high contrast, and we have a double quick set here. You see a one is a coordinated jump. So what you want to do is first you want to set your date. Then you set your day, just like that. Pull the crown out all the way. It is a screw down crown, by the way. You have hacking or stop seconds. And of course you have that metallic sunburst with the gradient fade, sand beige. So very light at the center, almost champagne, and then sort of brown bronze at the edge. Flip it all over, you can see 30, 
bar water resistant. That's 300 meters, individually numbered, anti-magnetic. It is that with a silicon hairspring. It's caliber 1315 DD for day date. So it's a automatic winder with three main spring barrels, a 120 hour power reserve, four hertz beat rate, six position adjustment, a free sprung balance beaten away at four hertz, 37 pivot joules total, which is two more than a standard 1315, responsible for the day date complication. It is a large movement and expansive, beautifully finished. You can see there's media blast, satin around the edge, and then there's beveling on the edge of the rotor, which is blackened gold. We have bridges that have this lovely sort of spiral snailing across their surface, which looks a lot more modern than Cote de Genève and really fits the movement better. You can also see the bevels are incredibly broad and rounded, one of the best beveling treatments I've seen on a series production watch. Screw heads are black polished with chamfered slots and circumference. You can see that the Balance is free sprung and six position adjusted for outstanding stability from position to position, so it keeps good time in any position. But then that also makes it shock resistant since a free sprung balance doesn't have a mobile stud index that can be displaced by shock. Taking a quick look, you can see that the ratchet wheel features a lovely solarization and the click is black polished. It's a gorgeous looking movement. Very accurate too. These are known to run within about plus one second per day and five days of power reserve, much more than the dive watch standard of typically 38 to 42 in the segment. So reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.